Hey guys, Redax here. I'm not doing a deck profile. This guy is doing a deck profile. Sup. You might remember me from such sets as Bermuda, Bermuda, and Bermuda. <laughs> uh, that's his repertoire. So today, uh, for my good friend Sordax, I'm going to do a deck profile on my Messiahs. It's a pretty popular deck and it's getting even more support. Wait, even though it's not Bermuda? We didn't agree to this. Wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't agree to this. Yo, I'm out here, man. Bye. I'm taking over the channel now. All right, to start off, we have the starter, Neon Messiah. Really, between this and Orion, there's not really too much of a difference. I'm only running it because come Stargate, rear guard, get the rear guard grade three. Not to mention, Mega Colony is going to be a thing, and it's nice to have, you know, Sly Fodder in hand. All right, triggers. To the surprise of almost nobody, I run a crit. But what is surprising is that this crit's better than this. Sure, this Golden Soul gets 5k, but if you find one of your other great twos, he is practically useless, and he'll save you from deck out. I was gonna run 12 crit, but first off, art is too good. One of my favorite arts in this clan. And second off, the draw trigger is good to get all your combo pieces. If you don't have your combo pieces in this deck, you kind of drop and can't do anything. And giving something 3k can easily make 21k column for a lot of the great twos. So it's nice. I'm going to be sad if we don't get a, another cute heal trigger. The Star Vader one, because we all know it's going to be Star Vader. But you're on this because, you know, a heal with an effect. Alright, grade one. This PG, which I cannot remember the name of. Steady Say Cosmo. I decided to go with this one over the GPG just because the consistency of getting five locks for the big boss monster. This, by the way. That, and you know, more draw power is nice. But you can't really go wrong with either PG, to be honest. You, the GPG is fine too. Uh, staple since beat uh, GBT05. Sacrifice Messiah. He's never going to leave the deck. And really, you got to play four of him. You really do. Without him, you're going to burn through all your counter blasts. And you're not going to be able to get five locks unless you use the PG. And come on. The 3K makes so many good numbers. It's crazy. I love it. Uh, four Sly Fodder or four Sly Fodder. I don't run eight grade threes. So, got to need the four. And I'm probably going to get blasted for this. So... You know, put in the comments what the hell is wrong with me, yada yada yada, but I only run two Dynamis. I know everybody plays at least three or four, but I have nothing I can take out of this deck. Absolutely nothing. He is amazing. He is top tier. He's probably never going to leave the deck, but he sacrifices just more needed. He's better, but he doesn't counter charge for you. But once you see one, you're good for the rest of the game. All right, Grey 2, my favorite Grey 2, Lady Fencer. No matter what type of build you uh, go with, either for the Awakening Messiah build or the self-locking build, she will always be a staple at 4. I can't see her not being a staple. It's just so easy to attack with her. It's kind of us 1. It's a 16k attack for m most attacks. Easy boots to make 21k columns and... She gives you the soul you might need for the deck. She's just too staple, and she is amazing. Pray her, pray for her. She worked for the Messiah now. Uh, for a wrestler next. Really, the only reason I run him is because he's free. I'd rather not play 12 grade two with that counter blast, and free 11k can swing solo. Can lock something. Hell, oh, where's your foil? Yeah, you know, I got I got a four foiled, man. One. Dude, I play for me, and all my money goes in there. Then why you have this deck? Because it's a fun deck and it wins. Disgusting. I know. Welcome to Link Joker. Ah, oh, yes, I I think he'll still be in the deck come Stargate. So if you want to get the foils, go ahead. It'll probably still be in the deck. 
What won't be in the deck is her. Uh, I should have remembered her, all these names. Black Dwarf. Um, if anybody keeps up with spoilers, you can see the new Maiga Messiah. It's pretty much better than her. Although, I do see why some people may want to uh, use her instead. But I prefer the Superior Call and Solo Swing. Because she's only 9k. You can't swing solo with her. I'll let you use the draw trigger skill. Or get power to sacrifice. Which can kind of hurt. Until then. Until Stargate. We gonna keep her. Great threes. Three of the backup. Most people think this is mediocre. But really. I, he's still not bad. He can mass draw for you with a GB2. You can still lock something with his on stride skill. So yeah, just uh, three, although you never, you don't want to ride him, obviously. And he had no rear guard skill, so. But come Stargate, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see more people run him than the new one. Or a mix, or a mix of the three. I'm probably gonna try something like that. And of course, these. If you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed every turn. It's so good. It's so, so good, and he's so free. He's so free, it hurts. You want combo pieces? Pot of Greed every turn. Who can, Soul, you play Lady Fencer. You play the Draw Trigger. The new Integral Messiah Soul Charge for you. You're Pot of Greed every turn. On top of Integral and Basaltus Draw, you're drawing your whole deck. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Although, if I can knock this card for one thing, you have to try the Messiah. So, I'm hoping I don't need Sark. Right, after the main deck, let's go on to the G Zone. Four Basalsis. Do you need to mass unlock? Do you need to lock your opponent? Do you want to draw? This is just five for you. People who don't run four of these for, for, before Stargate, when I, when it happens, I can understand if you don't want to ride it. But uh, before Stargate, definitely this. Definitely, definitely this. Just run four. He's too good to, to set up your combos. He draws you cards. He locks your opponent. He does everything. The card that nobody should be running anymore is Flagellette. Let me just say this. This card is useless now, and it will be more useless come Stargate. Omega locking your opponent's unit doesn't matter if they're going to lock unlock it anyway. Right, right? That new Nova Grappler G-Guard? Yeah, I know. Omega lock. So good. It's not. The only good reason for this card is you lock two on first strike. Which Integral makes that pretty much a mute point because he locks all. Stargate don't run him anymore. If you have him, sell him. But until then, might as well use him. This guy is so underrated, it's crazy. Your opponent's gonna have a lot of resist units now because Bushiro, you know, needs to make sure your opponent's combos can go off. Whether you're playing Aqua Force or Nova Grapplers or whatever. A lot of decks are going to be playing resist units, and this guy does not care. He does not care. You lock everything, and you unlock everything that wasn't locked by him. He is amazing, and I'm not surprised if people start playing four of him. But for now, I only play two. And what I also play two of is this. He is the boss monster. He is the finisher. He is the rock in wrestling terms, even though I don't know much about wrestling. He is Lord Jesus Christ himself. And really, right now, two is perfect. You don't need more, and you shouldn't run less because he's free as free can be. Pretty much his skill is attack, unlock everything, whether it's you or your opponent's units. All yours get 5k. He gets 5k for each one unlocked, and your opponent can't guard a great one or higher if you unlock 5. That is simply an amazing finishing turn, and he'll always be a 1-up in the deck. At least. Alright, G-Guards. The cute lady healer. Yeah, lady healer. 
she's not as good as I thought she was previously, but she guard for Messiah. They don't really have the best, or for Link Joker in general, really. But 10k shield, or at least a 5k shield if you have a Messiah. Or no, never mind. You need, your opponent needs a lock card. Yeah, it's not that good, but in the chant that there is a lock card, 36k shield. It's Or 25 and a, uh, 36 with your 11. It's not bad, I guess. Um, the only Star Vader in the... Uh, the second Star Vader in the deck. Keep forgetting that crit trigger, the Star Vader. Uh, lock something in your back row. Give 5k. He's really only good because he's free and... Can combo with him. You lock something in your back row, then you lock him and give your Vanguard 3k for the turn. So, yeah, that's the only reason why he's good. And somebody's having a phone call while I'm doing a death profile. Bye. Okay. Uh, this guy. Chaos loves him. Messiah's not so much. He's only ran because of this, you know, only Joker matchup. You lock two cards and gain 10k shield. You're not going to use it most of the time, so he's flip fodder for the vet G guard of the deck. Lacus Karina is so good and so expensive, which is not surprising considering how you know, good it is. Kanamas 1, flip a G guard face up. Probably going to be him most of the time. And just lock anything of any of your rear guard. Your opponent locked the same number in your back row. It stops the plays. It keeps your opponent from miraging or keeping their cards away from the field. And it's just too good. And I kind of want to run two, but I'm not spending $30 for another one. So yeah. Uh, for my final thoughts on this deck, is it top tier? Maybe. Is it going to be top tier? Possibly with the new support. Integral Messiah just... It just screws over a lot of decks. It screws over big hand sizes. It just takes the mechanic of this game and flips it over his head. Not to mention all the other cards Messiahs are getting. The new Grade 2. Um, the new G-Guard that can, is a mini Lacus Karina. So yeah, if you're thinking about investing into Messiahs, it's a definitely a good time now, but it's not going to be, it's not gonna be uh, you know, cheap. It's going to be very expensive. So yeah, that's about it for my deck profile. I hand it, I'll give the channel back to uh, Sword Axe and he'll take it from there. Oh, God damn it, Sword Axe. God damn it. Well, guess I'm going to send you off. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe on the channel. And uh, stay tuned for more content. Hasta la vista, babies.